We live in a very, very unforgiving society. And, you know, some people talk about things like snowflakery and so on of the generation coming up. And I, uh, I think that, that it's slightly unfair and unkind. Mm. If you live in a world where acting in the world can come back at you at any stage and you never, ever have any mechanisms to be forgiven, you are going to fear everything mm. because everything is so damn dangerous. Every word is undoable, is unundoable. Every action is unundoable. And nobody wants to help you out. Nobody. And we all have a little bit of this, you know, when somebody errs and strays or does something terrible, we are inclined to forgive them if we already agree with them, if they are of our group or tribe or if they are of our political view. But when it happens with our opponents, we destroy, destroy and make sure they never come back. That's why the Trudeau thing is actually quite a useful moment, because I'm quite encouraged by some of the response, some of the partisan response, which is saying, don't let's do this, but don't let's do back to him what we know he would mm. do to us. Mm. So it's true that if Donald Trump had repeatedly... <laughs> oh, we, we were just talking about this yeah, yeah. before you got here. Yeah. Wow, Jesus H. Eh. Christ, the yeah. kind of... I reckon, uh, I reckon that an apology uh, wouldn't have quite done it. <laughs> no. if, if Donald Trump had said, well, you know, I don't know how many times, but sometimes I just used to put my feet up at Trump Tower and just black up. <laughs> and Melania... <laughs> I don't reckon that would We'll just be there on the tambourine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Dead I, face, dude. Yeah. I, reckon, I reckon he'd have trouble in the Republican primary. Yeah. <laughs> I, I reckon that the left wouldn't mm. let go of that. And um, so it's, it's interesting because this could be an opportunity to try to pretend that Justin Trudeau is in fact a racist, mm. white supremacist, <laughs> KKK hood-wearing... Uh, uh, um, uh, maniac and bigot. And a lot of Canadian politicians are doing that. Some are doing it, yeah. Mm. Um, the wiser ones will realise that this is a very important opportunity mm. to show magnanimity mm. in victory. Mm. To say, you wanted, you, Justin Trudeau, wanted to make us play these silly, reductive political games. And, you know, God knows there's reason enough to dislike the guy. Um, he, uh, you know, I mean, I still think that that moment a few years ago when a, when a, a young woman in the audience oh. refers to mankind and he said, he, the president, the prime minister of Canada says, uh, I think you'll find we refer to, to humankind these days. I said, first of all, no, we don't, mm. or almost nobody does. And secondly, so you're the prime minister and you're using the platform to sort of correct and sort of browbeat and, by, and mansplain. <laughs> uh, 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 to some, you know, poor, nice young woman is just asking a question. You know, I mean, like, you have some decency, some just basic, you know, I mean, there's a power dynamic that's gone wrong. Anyhow, but the point, at such a point, whenever that guy gets this wrong by turning out to have a bit of a thing for doing blackface, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can't believe our luck still. But, <laughs> but it, it, you know, it, we could do the dishonest thing to him that he would do, or we could say, okay. Let's use this as an opportunity to learn about how we could have a better, better thing going forward. And I, I give this example with the, with the, in the forgiveness chapter with the, how do, we, how, do we, how do we try to read other people's words, including the words of people who we might disagree with in a more honest light? Mm. We've had this thing, I may have said to you before, we've had this strange thing in our society in recent years. Writers, comedians, and others used to operate on the basis that we spoke and acted in a way that no honest critic could honestly misrepresent. And then we entered at some point in recent years, this era in which we had to try to speak and act in a way in which, in, in, a, in such a way that no dishonest person couldn't dishonestly misrepresent <laughs> our actions. And that can't be done. No, or at least no. it can't be done without driving yourself mad. And so we need to, we need to work out how with our opponents as well as our allies and friends mm. and, and so on. 
actually behave in a more reasonable manner.